is Taryn Packer, and I'm a Applications Engineer here at Go Engineer. Today I'd like to talk to you about three tips that will help you greatly increase your design speed if you can get used to using them. The first tip is that most designers come up here and grab their features, sketches, whatever they need right up here at the Command Manager, and then come back down here and use that command. So that's a lot of real estate going back and forth and back and forth all day long for eight hours a day. A faster way to do this is to hit the S key. What the S key does is it pulls up what's called the shortcut menu right by wherever your mouse is. Okay. This shortcut menu is completely customizable. All you have to do is right click anywhere in the shortcut menu and click customize. Then you come right to the shortcut customization and from here you can customize any of the different shortcut menus. There's ones for part files, assemblies, drawings, and sketches. So I can grab, let's say I wanted this in my shortcut menu. I could just pull it in. If I didn't want it anymore, I could grab it, drop it. Now it's gone. It has to be within this customized window. You can't do that from anywhere but here. So the shortcut menu greatly enhances your design speed because all the tools that you use all the time is just one S key click away. An even faster way of grabbing these tools that you use all the time is what's called the mouse gestures wheel. To activate the mouse gestures wheel, hold down your right mouse button and pull anywhere in space in your graphical window and you can grab a tool depending on which direction you pull. So if I wanted to use a circle, I could use a circle just like that. If I wanted to use a line, I could use a line. If I wanted to mention something, I could mention something. Just by holding down the right mouse button and pulling my mouse somewhere in space to activate that key command. So now I want to talk to you about combine the mouse gestures wheel and the shortcut menu so you don't even have to hit the S key anymore. All you need to do is pull your mouse into space and activate the shortcut menu. There's two ways to get the mouse gestures customized. You can hit the S key and customize and you'll get the customization window or you can hit this little down arrow next to the gear options icon and you can click on customize and the same uh, command manager comes up. Now if I go to mouse gestures tab it pulls up my mouse gestures right here. I can do up to 12 different mouse gestures. I'm only going to stay with four to keep things simple and now all I need to do is in the search for field I'm just going to type in shortcut and my shortcut bar comes up right there. Now all I need to do is click it with my left mouse button, hold down, drag over, and drop it wherever I want it. I like to have it on the bottom part of my mouse wheel, my mouse gestures wheel. So I'm going to put it on the bottom part of my mouse gestures wheel for all four part, sketch, assembly, and drawing mouse gestures. And then press OK. All right, now I don't even have to hit the S key anymore. All I need to do is hold down my right mouse button, pull down, and my shortcut bar is right there. No matter where I am in my graphical window, all I need to do is hold down the right mouse key, pull down, my shortcut bar is right there, and I can right click, customize, customize either my shortcut bar or my mouse gestures, whatever I want to do. It's just all right there now. This has been Taryn Packer. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I hope that these tips and tricks will help you in your modeling in the future. Mm -hmm.